Listen, look, everybody's crying <laughs> now <laughs> because you're all so close, and that was very hard for you. We'll come pass them down, pass them Thank down. Thank you. They are girls, and your mums are over, mums are all over there. Oh. <laughs> I know. Julia, here's what I had thought. I would have thought if you'd gone through that operation and they do all they do to your back and everything, I thought they would have wrapped you up in cotton wool after that. <laughs> Instead, they're all just your so-called mates throwing you about <laughs> all over the place. Yeah, I fell a few times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That must make you nervous now, does it? Mm -hmm. Knowing. So touch it first, first, let's take you back, because yeah. you were here talking to us before you went yeah. off for this big operation in yeah. America, um, which we know Simon Cowell helped you mm -hmm. to get you there. Um, what did you actually have done? Well, basically, because in America they do this and you can dance after it, they went in on my side and they put like screws in the vertebrae that are curved and then a flexible cord through them. So when I grow, it should straighten and I had like seven ribs broken and all stuff like that, so it was a lot of pain, but... Yeah, so they had to crack your ribs to get mm -hmm. into your spine. Yeah, because mine was really severe, so yeah. they had to break seven. So when they did all that and, and they know you're a dancer and you wanted to continue dancing, what did they tell you? How long would the recovery take and how long has it taken? Well, they said it would be three months until I can start dancing again. So it came to three months and I was like, oh, yeah, I can start. And when I started, I actually figured out I'd lost strength, flexibility and mm. confidence because I was terrified yeah. to do stuff. So you're all watching, you've got your big sister Alice here yeah. and, and the girls, um, you're all watching this from home because you, yeah. you went over eventually, didn't yeah. you? But she had to be there it without you. Really so I see you're also emotional about it. It must Honestly. be very hard for you knowing what she was about to go through. It was, especially when I couldn't go there because all you want to do is help your sister and I couldn't do absolutely anything, so it was awful, but she's done amazing. She's a very strong girl. So yes. strong, so, so you, brave. You knew that, she'd, that she yeah. would be wanting to get back onto that dance floor. Yeah, like straight away. Like Even when she was in America, she was stretching and everything. I was like, Julia, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't stop. And what about the four of you without her? Did you carry on you know, learning the routines, knowing that look, she'll be coming back and we have to keep this all going? Well, it was just like having a limb missing because she's literally like our sister. But I mean, we went to the NRTA Awards, which was really hard because we did we did perform. But to make sure that Jules was like included, she did like a little speech before it. But yeah. it's going to be amazing this Sunday, especially we're going to be able to dance all together for the first time for our show. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and really, back here, tight. You're all tight, aren't you? You're all yeah. really, it's all for one and one for all. Yeah, we've all been friends since like such a young age. Mm -hmm. And I think when we dance on Sunday, we'll just feel like all of Julia's surgery and all of the practices, it will all be worth it. Yeah, Definitely. Yeah. Sunday, this is the big celebration. Britain's Got Talent big celebration yeah. in yeah. Liverpool, mm, your yeah, hometown, so you've got a home crowd. So tell us about this, what's it going to be? Well, it's basically the first time I'm dancing again in public since my surgery, so that's exciting. And there's so many like iconic BGT acts from the past, like mm. past winners, like there's Ashley and Sully, there's Attraction, yeah, Richard Sarah Jones. Kumu, like there's so many people. It just... I know you say that's your first time dancing in public, but before that, could we get a wee demonstration in yeah. public? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> now be careful. Okay. Please don't die, George. Yeah. Woo! Woo! That was so well, good. It is incredible when you think of what you have been through. Will there be future operations? Or? Um, well, there is things saying that it might not hold my curve because it's really severe. Yeah. Um, but I'm determined. I'm trying to do all my back exercises to make it stay. But if I do need a third one, it would be to tighten it, and hopefully that would be the last one then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it is, it is absolutely incredible. You're living the dream. You bring so much joy to so many people oh, as well. Thank you. And you're always smiling. How come you're always... Do you ever fight? Do you ever fall out with each other? Well, we're like sisters. Yeah, it's so, like a yeah. big family. Like, you argue with your sisters, don't you? So we kind of do yeah. all that. We end up laughing. We're we so do, passionate. They don't understand that because Ruth and I never fall out. <laughs> <laughs> never, never, never. Um, and so people can come and see you this weekend uh, at the Liverpool Empire Theatre this Sunday for Britain's Got Talent, the big celebration. And we yeah. really celebrate yeah. how you've come through this and been such an amazing young Thank woman. You. It's going to be congratulations. Thanks, and it's all for charity as well. And it's all, all for charity, charity um, for Alderhey Hospital. Yeah. 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 They Fantastic. are the Mersey Girls. Thank you, Thank you girls.